Hello, this is Genosis with episode 13 of Night of the Dead. Something that's throwing me off that it's uh, day 12, but it's episode 13. I know that's throwing me off because, um, oh, I actually need to fertilize that. Throwing me off because apparently I started on day zero and I was wondering to myself what the numbering scheme and what episode it was. And I, I fooled myself into it, I guess. But yeah, it is episode 13. All right, so I'm just looking at seeing how oh, doing some... Uh, Intestines. Ah, whatever. I'll just reload these two. I'm just basically maintaining all of my machines right now. It is uh, hour six, so it is, you know, just about daytime. Just about time for me to start the day and get done what I need to get done. Uh, yeah, that should do. Anyways, I checked all of my machines, got some copper, got some oil, got some stone, all that fun stuff. And apparently there was a patch that these no longer can be placed anywhere, as they must be on the ground, as they should be. So we're just going to... We're just going to leave those there because, you know, why the heck not? They're still working. And we'll take advantage of that while we can, even though I do have the yard space. All right, uh, what else was I doing? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I was upgrading the wall. Um, here we go. The wall was one of the problems that happened last night. Oh, this is a horror show over here. <laughs> uh, yes, updating the wall because this needs to be stone uh, because it is, you know, this was collapsible. Oh, I need... I need plates. Yeah, I need iron plates. Yeah, this was collapsible, and we had a big issue. Zombies came their way in, and normally having stairs in here isn't a problem. That's actually how I'm able to work in my backyard, is by giving them a free path to me in the backyard so they go through the traps. If I don't, they'll just beat on the walls anyway. So it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword kind of thing, and it's uh, it has to be the way it is, and trust me, it works. Just need to be a little careful, make sure the walls are updated. Uh, speaking of which, can I upgrade another time? Repair, upgrade, I can. So rebar, and okay, we'll look at that another time. Right now, I want to get it all to stone, at the very least. All right, all the walls are indeed all the way to stone. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, uh, the walls being this way is starting to annoy me. I wonder if I can, can I raise that? Will that be a problem? Oh, it looks like I don't look to get all of the resources back when I take something apart. Because that's right, they, they change the perks. So that's a little, uh, it's a little unfortunate. Let me demolish this. A little unfortunate because I was really enjoying that. There is a setting in the game files that you can set so you can get all the resources back instead of losing some wood planks that I just did. So uh, that's entirely an option. I'm going with the, you know, the, the default settings because I want the baseline experience and uh, leave the challenges for another time or, you know, adjustments like that. All right. So is that the only thing I need for the walls? <laughs> Rope. Uh, I'll grab, yeah, I'll grab a little bit more. Just I don't want to come back for for more. And lumber, okay, all right, that should cover it. Well, it looks like that is exactly the way it's supposed to be, ish. Um, because I, unless I freeform it, and that's probably not going to work out to my advantage. If I can just maybe perfectly line it up, so if it snaps, it looks the same, but then just change the height. Okay, yeah, that, like that, and then raise that out of the ground. So would that work? Uh, eh. Well, that's that's exactly the same thing. You know, it would help if I was actually using <laughs> the uh, defensive walls, um, protective walls. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a dumb move on my 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 behalf here. Because it's been actually been a little bit of time since I last played. Because I got excited, I did all of my recordings all at once, and um, when I do that, I get a little lost of what I was doing, or you know, or if, I feel like I haven't played the game in a while. Uh, how's that working? Is that is that is that fine? Is that is that okay? All right, fine. Let's just uh, then snap it. Uh, almost. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's better. I mean, those two pieces are obviously different than the others, but at least they at least they snap. Okay, enough screwing around with the walls. We can do this another time. I need to get out there and start achieving some ch uh, some things. Um, let me clean up this animal mess here, though. Because uh, it's uh, this just looks awful. The, the HOA is going to get after me for this. I just know it. All right, all the traps are now reset. Yeah, meat obtained, and there we go. All right, so yes, objectives today. So I would like to get that um, cruiser. Yes, the motorcycle. There's a last journal location. Ooh, upgrade stairs. Um, before I do anything else, let me check out the stair situation. Because I think, yeah, yeah, I was looking at it, and it needs to. Ooh, ow, that hurt. Yeah, this needs to be uh, better. What is happening here? This is like a... <laughs> it's like a small animal trap. So, 
Yeah, this this does not look great. This needs to be fixed. Yeah, this, that's even off entirely. Yeah, okay, this is definitely something I want to mark off my agenda today. All right, there we go. So that looks better. Uh, maybe I should have used a solid for underneath, but whatever. This this should work. Um, yeah, the main problem is that they were getting out from under it. Well, I guess those, those rabbits are just going to have to be there now. That's, that's where they live. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Stairs. I think I would like to bring this to iron as well at some point. Maybe I'll take a look at that before the night starts. Yeah, these are all repaired. I think they were pretty... Yeah, this is pretty damaged. Uh, is there a small stone I can... Oh, it's like loot here. Yeah, small stone. There we go. Um, yeah, I want to get that fixed because 50% is pretty, pretty bad. But yeah, getting this iron would definitely be warranted. All right, random resources. I still got a couple things to upgrade, so screw it. We're... Oh. Um, maybe I should close the gate. <laughs> oh, that scared the crap out of me. Can, uh, buddy, can you just come here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, reload. That's a bad time to reload. Okay, well, I guess that works. Better than better than you. Better you than me, I guess. All right, so yeah, this is getting unloaded finally with all this uh, junk I'm carrying, and then I want to get all of the resources I need to craft the motorcycle, um, and then maybe go to that last journal location first. Then yeah, we're we're almost there. All right, that is everything I need to make the motor motorcycle minus one engine oil. So I think we're good. Now, there's a little bit of trouble happening here, but um, you guys are gonna have to sort things out without me because I, I get I get places to be. So sort all this out, that'll have to all stay there. Um, as for my low, I got an extra glaive there I don't need. And uh, yeah, so I'll need to actually traverse into the higher tiered territories, which is a difficult thing to say. Uh, traverse into that territory in order to actually get that last engine oil, because it needs to be that next tier of area. All right, so how are we good? We good here? Storage, empty, good. Okay, let's uh, skedaddle right out here. Close the door. And you, you guys can just keep doing whatever you're doing. Oh, yes, yeah, so where am I going? So, yeah, I think it's um, over here, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's the prison. So that was, what, 41, 168 or something like that? Let's take a look at the journal. 41, 168, perfect. All right, so let's head over to the prison. This is, this is going to be disturbing, isn't it? All right, I see the uh, prison in the distance. I 100% have never been here. So I can assure you that this is going to be a... Uh, uh, a unique experience for me. See, so yeah, I've been playing this game quite a bit on the side, uh, a little bit just for fun. Actually, played also played with our 11-year-old daughter, who actually really enjoys it, which is interesting. She's typically terrified of uh, any games with something that'll attack you, you know, like Minecraft zombies and all that kind of stuff. But uh, but no, no, she's uh, she's come a long way, and she actually really enjoys the game. She looks forward to Horde Nights, which is uh, again pretty interesting, and we have we have a pretty good base going. So, let's see, how are we getting... Oh, that was a lot of wolves. Uh, how are we getting in here? So, I thought it was that fenced yard, but it doesn't look like there's a way in. Okay, game save. That's a good thing. Oh, is that a door? Door? There we go. This place looks pretty intimidating, I gotta say. Oh, there's a lot of... Uh... Okay. Let's pull over. Let's get our glaive out, because we're gonna get a lot of action here. Just everyone line up, one at a time, if you don't mind. Uh, but again, leave leave the bike alone. It's done nothing to you. Oh, there goes that damn hook of yours. Okay, you know what? Ow. Okay, all right. We're probably gonna have to do the shotgun with this guy. Just um, number three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Come on. Dodge. Haha. <laughs> Gotta use the dodge sometimes. Oh, back up. Yeah, back up. Reload. Actually, you know what? Glaive is probably good for this. Yeah, that guy actually went down a little better than I expected. You know, that's, that's what she said. Drop something yellow, though. What is that? Yoink. Again, get away from the bike. You know, after after I get my replacement bike, you can hit it again. But until then, I need it. Lubricant. Plastic. Knife. Oh, that's what the... Oh, gloves. Okay, well, whatever. So is that it? Hmm... No, we get one, one, oh, couple stragglers. All right, mess up that guy's business. I think we're okay. Seems pretty quiet. All right, we cool? Okay, no blowing up my bike. I still need it. Now, I don't know if this, what area, oh, sorry, what tier this area is. I'm hoping it's the higher tier that I can get the, um, the engine oil in. But if it's not, oh, well... 
but I do hope it is because that would be a great uh, two for one th kind of thing. Okay, so you a lot of prisoners in the yard. So we're going to head in here. Um, okay. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, just to uh, give them the business. You guys can come out here and you. That was kind of a girly scream for a dude that uh, well, should not be sounding like that. Actually, this bow's doing a treat. Okay, I think we're clear. Yeah, those uh, a lot of them went down in one shot, which is just great. All right, so yeah, though, I'm looking for the reward boxes. Okay, we got a shelf here. Oh, coins, stuff. Okay, that's good stuff. But yeah, reward boxes. So these are resources, so we'll leave those alone. Bullets, however, we're going to smack those whenever we get a chance. Okay, this is a mod box, which, uh, you know, could have things. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, scope, two scopes. I'll take a scope. Uh, I'll take it all, whatever. I'll drop stuff as I need it. There's a lot of building stuff in here. Holy crap. Guess what's kind of uh, enheartening, I guess. Is that a word? Enheartening? The opposite of a disheartening? Disheartening? Okay. What's good is that the uh, there's been two updates, little hotfix patches, since I last played. So that keeps telling me the game's still being updated. That's just a fantastic thing um, that this game's still being worked on and getting a lot of, a, hopefully, more attention. I, you know, I like to think that me playing this is bringing this to some people that wouldn't have seen it otherwise. And uh, this game needs more attention, needs more development, of course. We're, this game is definitely not ready for prime time. But I would like to see this game get some attention. Um, now, in the roadmap, they said some optimizations are in place. They've done some optimizations. Is something, something with the map? Maybe that loads faster now? Maybe it does. But they definitely need to take a look at the graphics. Because uh, it is a lot of people's chief complaints. With how dark it is, how kind of fuzzy it is. And if they can solve that, they would get a lot more people interested in the game because it's something that people have a hard time looking past. Kind of like the appropriately themed uh, zombies in here, everyone's prisoners or cops. I thought they fixed the animation stutter. Yeah. I guess it's still kind of a little stuttery. There's only so much you can do from a distance, I guess, as part of their optimizations. Can you just not make that sound? There we go. Okay, so uh, ammunition, no reward boxes, but at least we got ammo. All right, so we got a bunch of cell blocks here that don't seem to be able to be opened, which is fine by me. You know, I'm sure that would have been boring to loot all of those. Uh, although, how do you... Okay, no, you can't open them. Can you? No? Well, how is that... Are you just there forever? Can you see me? Okay. Uh, maybe that's what they did. Maybe they made it so the cages are, like, something you can't see through. So the prisoners can always remain prisoners and not be, like, uh, constantly growling at you. Which is appreciated, because uh, a lot of games just would have let that happen. Okay. Um, we uh, we okay here? Oh, what's this? After Art of War. The Art of War. Pretty sure I have that. But I'm going to grab it all the same. Um, I could probably build a research bench if I could start looting some of these uh, resource bins. Okay, so where's this... Uh... Ooh. No, oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, where is this, uh, this piece I'm looking for? I probably should have marked it on the map. But at least I'm getting a good look at the place. Got some more ammo. I'm going to take a second here. Are we okay? Where is that coming from? Okay, you keep doing your thing up there. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at the journal. I probably should mark it on the map. All right, so 4172, 16891. Okay, there we go. Marked. So yeah, that should bring me pretty close to it. So I'll get this, uh, get this ammo and take a closer look at where that leads us. Oh, hey, uh, there's... Uh, wait, what is that? Is that an ammo thing? The, okay, all right. Um, you know what? I'm pretty sure this is a tier two area or tier one or whatever area you want to call it. So, yeah, we're definitely not going to find engine oil here. So I'm going to need to go out of my way, go to one of the more advanced towns and uh, do some searching because I just need one of them and we can ride home in style. Okay, we're going over to the other side. The cell blocks so let's see, appears to be in here. Just need to uh, keep going. It's probably... Well, hold on. Let me just close them off in there. You guys can stay there. Oh, no, it's in that building. Okay, well, instead of wasting time, because I don't need much of anything in here. Are you okay? All right. Much of anything in here. So I do need to stick to uh, stick to the business. Yeah, let's, let's, let's keep moving forward. I don't want a bunch of lower tier items cluttering up my inventory. Let's just take the chin up. Oh, take the injury in that one. Okay, so it seems to be in here. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, there's a few, yeah. Let's just take a step out and uh, 
let my glaive handle you guys. Love this thing. Like, just love it. I know it's hard in, uh, you know, tight spaces. <laughs> okay, that one was good. Um, that's what she said. But yeah, I know it's difficult to manage in tight spaces. Like right here, I can't use it. But once you get out in the open, this thing is a monster. So I probably should have a close quarters weapon. I mean, I do have a machete there. But maybe a higher tier one. Like uh, like a spear. Probably be a good one. But yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep that in mind. All right. Shotgun helps, though. Okay, so let's get a light on. Door closed. Light on. Later go. So, yeah, where are we, uh, where are we going? So this appears to be, like, right around here. Yeah, but there's a second floor, so it's probably right above that spot on the second floor. Okay, what is this? It's one of the reward boxes. Yeah, it comes with cooling water. So this is the type of container we need to find in the next city. So, where, uh, what are we looking for? Oh, here we go. Journal entry. Hey, you got an achievement. Um, achievement locked escape. Oh, let's take a look at that. There's a there's a radio thingy? Mobile phone. Ooh, okay. Everything is ready. Uh, at, there's an airfield at coordinates. Oh, God, really at the airfield? Wow. I set up a base there once, I think. If that is... Oh, or was it a different place? Okay, I think it's here in the map. Never mind. Uh, airfield has coordinates. You can escape by fixing the broken communications equipment there. All right. So that's it, I think. I think that's kind of like the end of the game or something. So I need to bring all that stuff to that that spot. Which, uh, I th was it... Uh, where is that? Okay, I think I... Have I been here? I think I've been here. Yeah, okay. So I had... Um, yeah, I think this, this is where that motel is. And I got a, a paper here, like a, a couple notes. Yeah, was, there was a, the cooking one here and the fishing one here. So this air hanger seems to be where the story possibly ends. So I definitely want to uh, definitely save my game <laughs> before I go over there and, uh, you know, start building any, you know, escape equipment. Because I don't want the game to be over quite yet. There's still a lot more. Because even though the story ends, the, uh, the game has been continued, oh, sorry, continued to have been developed beyond that point. So I don't, definitely don't want it to be over. I want to see, cool, see all the cool things, build all the cool things, and all the explore the map. So I'm just going to run past you guys. You guys can all stay there. Bye-bye. Stay there. Do your own thing. I, I got places to be. Excuse me. No. Mm -mm. Okay. So here... Oh, hold on. Where'd you guys come from? Must be like a wandering horde or something. It's fine. It's just uh, easily solved. So I just need to plan my uh, my direction to the nearest... Oh god, nearest town. That's way the hell up here. Mm, maybe I should go back and do the airport thing. And then... I don't know. I'll figure it out. So I think, yeah, I think maybe going home might be the way to go. Let me think about it for a second. All right, no, screw it. Since I'm kind of, sort of, in that area, I'm just going to double back... Head to the town, get my motor thingy, whatever, the engine oil, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll have that cruiser, because I really want that cruiser. That's going to be a big change for us, because it's, it's much faster, holds more stuff, and it's just a better a better experience to have with uh, for traveling. And it's really going to help traveling around. So let's just go get that one thing, and then uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy. You know, I just thought of a great place to go that could give us the, uh, the next tier of loot we're looking for with the engine oil. And uh, as well as some other bonuses, here is that mine shaft that we couldn't enter without having a gas mask, which we do happen to have right in our inventory. Can you just um, get this over with? Thank you. So we good? Legs over there. No one else coming. All right. So gas mask. We put that on. Nice. Very stylish. So we get that on. So that will allow us to go. Hello. Allow us to go in here, which is another tiered area and get some more aluminum. Owie. Jeez. Yeah, get some more aluminum and some whatever else. So, uh, oh, yes, pickaxe. We need a pickaxe on our bar. That's what I'm missing. Give a quick sort. Hi. Oh, I need to drop some items in the bike, actually. Whoop. Ah, you, you look stupid. Get me out of here. All right. Yeah, let's drop some items into the bike because uh, I need, probably need some extra space. All right, I think we're all clear. 
Let's get our bow out. Okay, lights on. Okay, so yeah, there was the uh, the magazine that taught us the whole m mining thing. What was that? Oh yeah, that was the uh, blacksmith book, I think. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to make my way through here. Hopefully there's some reward boxes that'll have the thing I'm looking for. At the very least, it's going to have some goodies, uh, some aluminum, which we'll, uh, of course, going to eventually need for other things. All right, all clear for this section at least. There's probably going to be a ton of things here. Ooh, got a few things over here. What am I hearing? Really? Really? Where are you, you screaming bastard? Yeah, you, you shut up. You too. Just stay down. There we go. Yes, no more of that, please. All right, back into the mine. Yeah, so we're going to uh, pick as many of the uh, aluminum nodes as we can. Can you just... Um, there you go. Yeah, many aluminum nodes as we can. Because uh, this is kind of an out-of-the-way place. I believe it's the only spot... Let me stop talking and aim. Uh, only spot on the map with aluminum. And I believe there's also um, magnesium we need to get at some point. There's a... And uh, there's like, another mine for gold. It's things I saw on a map I'd seen. So, uh, yeah, we just need to grab as much as we can whenever we come across those mines. All right, grab some coils because, you know, why not? Because I never like having too much inventory space. You know, I just want to keep full all the time. I'm kidding. It's really kind of a stressful thing. There is um, there is another porter book that would let me store more things. And I need to maybe look into extending my... Um, material and weapon and ammo things, uh, storage capacities, um, so I can keep maximizing my storage. Just need to go fishing? I think it's fishing I need to... The, oh, there's also other metals I think I needed, which is a, a, an entirely different problem. Right, I'm actually going to try playing in the intended third person for a little bit. Um, this, uh, you know, so this way the game was intended, they only added later. Cooling water. So this isn't a tier higher. I swear it was. So that's a, that's a bit of an issue. I mean, I think melee is actually somewhat easier in third person. But when it comes to aiming weapons, I'll give it another try. Because um, I know I'm always used to being in first person for pretty much every game I play. But let's try... Yeah, see, aiming. Like, that looks uncomfortable. We'll try it, though. I just want to give it a try. Just to see how it is. All right, here's the aiming thing. Okay, let's like shooting through my elbow. So maybe I just need to switch to a, a further perspective. Like... How was this intended? No, it's a little uncomfortable. Maybe I'm just uh, not giving enough of a try. But the, the positioning of the reticle is right through the character. So how is that, like, ideal? I just... I'm not sure I understand if I'm doing something incorrect, but that doesn't seem right to me. Lots of, lots of aluminum to be had here. Let's double check this loot. I swear this area was higher tier. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's process this. I got an assault rifle and a German submachine gun. So, that's awesome. Let's uh, put that on our bar here. So maybe we are looking at different tiered items. That's uh that's interesting. Let's look at this thing. This is probably the best item in the game. Maybe not the quality of it, but the, uh, what, what tier, okay, what tier is that? Four? Two. No, wait, what am I looking at? Tier three is the German submachine gun. Tier three. Okay, I think the tier's changed. But yeah, I think, I think that's the best weapon. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's changed. I remember the assault rifle being pretty much like, you know, the bee's knees, like one of the best things, uh, range weapon wise. But uh, maybe they changed things around a bit, but that, let's look at the damage on this. Uh, 48 damage. Yeah, it's way better than this. So I no longer have a purpose for the, the, the submachine gun. This is just by far superior in every way. 48 damage. Yeah, it's really damaging. That's awesome. So that's definitely be my go-to weapon on Horde Knights from now on. Are right, getting a little full? So uh, I'd like to take a look around. Yeah, not those. I'll take a look around for the reward boxes if there's any here. Or any more weapons crates. Because uh, I would like to... Okay, a mod box. Maybe there's something in here. But yeah, I'd like to get that done if possible here. All right, air booster. Ah, four scope. Okay, air booster. I think it's something that could apply to here. I think it adds like a knockdown effect. So let's uh, modify that. And I think that'll fit onto the glaive air booster. Oh, it replaces the clamp. So yeah, it adds a chance of knockback, which I am okay with. 
Oh, see that? Like the concussive effect. That was pretty cool. All right, another weapons thing over here. Now that I'm a little more excited, let's check this out. Uh, okay. Tears, some bone armor. Okay, I'm full. All right, so I, I don't need some of these things here. Let's get rid of the nails. Um, yeah, I don't need nails. Art of War. I'm pretty sure I have that. All right, grab what I could. So we're going to keep looking. I'm just going to maybe beeline through the place and uh, try to check those reward boxes. Because if, if, if I can get that, um, we'll be in good position. Whoop. There, you missed me, buddy. Good position to uh, yeah, get that vehicle, get out of here, and have just a nice, rewarding day where we achieve the things we, we set out to do. Okay, we have another thing of reward box here. Let's take a look at that. Come on, no whammies. Give me some... Give me some of that engine oil. Love it. Yes, this is a this is something we can do now. Perfect. Okay, so how much aluminum do we have? In, or sorry, how much aluminium do I have? I know there's uh, some of the uh, yeah British folks that uh, a little a little triggered by that, but you know it, it actually how that's how it reads. Alumin aluminum 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 aluminum. Wait, is that spelled differently? Okay, I actually looked up the uh, uh, etymology, which is the uh, well, can't believe I'm describing this, but etymology is the the uh, the uh, et the oh gosh, what am I saying? The origin of a word. So, okay, I'm full now. Uh, and basically, what it is is that it originally was aluminum, so that's was the original intended spelling. But in uh, some later publication or something like that, it was referred to as aluminium, I believe, by someone in the United Kingdom, and therefore it was adopted to, you know, various cultures that way. So uh, interestingly enough, neither are incorrect. So you can say aluminum or aluminium and still be correct, at least by you know, you know, consensus, uh, it's you know generally accepted as both. But yeah, apparently aluminum was the original. Well, that's weird. Um, clipping on the uh, shattered stuff I'm walking through. Anyways, yeah, aluminum is, uh, I guess, the uh, original um, coining of the word. I think I gathered enough. Like, my inventory is pretty full. Yeah, I'm just about... Yeah, I just hit... Yeah, I just hit the next stack of aluminum, so we're full. So I'm going to put that away. Oh, can't put that away. Right, right, right. Can't put that away because there's so much stuff in my inventory that I can't place the item that's in my hands into my, in my storage, so... We'll fix that. As soon as we get out of here, we're going to have a nice new vehicle with a little bit of added storage to it. All right, cruiser motorcycle. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's look at the differences before we slop this down. So first one, we have a maximum torque of 250 kilograms per meter per minute. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. But maximum speed of 67 kilometers. So here we have uh, an extra 100 kilograms of torque. And I'd say... Damn near. Hold on, 67, one, yeah, yeah, damn, that's uh, double the speed. Like, pretty damn near double the speed. So that is going to be awesome. Let's put, slop this down. Bam, let's take a look at the storage. And yes, we have triple the storage. Love it. All right, that is full, so we can actually yank everything out of here. Now, the problem is that um, I uh, I have no way of taking this home, so we're going we're gonna to take it apart. And we're probably going to lose a little bit of material, but I think we actually keep all the major stuff. Like, for example, if I wanted to build it again... Oh, I could. Oh, so maybe I did get all my resources back. Well, that's cool. All right, here we go. Now let's just get some... Uh, oh, I probably dropped the uh, fuel. Yeah, just dropped the fuel. Not a good, not a good thing. And let's uh, just gas this up. All right, holds 180 units, which I think is a little more. All right. So let's, uh, let's first, let's pick a direction. Maybe I should just head back home. Because I, I don't know... How, yeah, it's hour 60. And I don't have time to, to accomplish anything else today. So what I'd like to do is uh, clear all those waypoints. So I can get a new waypoint set up here. Let's just actually take the road. Yeah, I'll take the road all the way home. Just to here. Yeah, over here. And then once we come here, we'll beeline home. Cool. So let's uh, take a cruise in our new cruiser. And, uh, oh yeah, look at the... Look at this. Go fast. We're going 100... 110. Oh, yeah. Look at how fast we're going. This is beautiful. Definitely enjoying cruising through here. And, ooh, you can you can insta-gib. Um, you know, shout out in the comments if you know what that means. You can insta-gib any zombies that, uh, well, not any zombies. I guess the uh, weaker ones, like uh, this fella. Oof, brutal. But any of the, like, the mini-boss ones, 
um, you just kind of bounce them around. But yeah, that is a <laughs> that's not a bad way to go. But it does do some some significant damage to the vehicle. I think I took maybe maybe just under 10% uh, damage just by hitting those few. So just gotta watch out, not use that too much. But uh, if something gets in the way, they're gonna be a fine mist. So here's the airfield right here. So I could, you know, I could stop right by here, but I think we need to bring all of the materials here and fix using all the materials and then escape. So before I do any of that, you know what, maybe I'll have time to do that today because I'm really curious how the whole story thing wraps up. And I'm definitely gonna save the game before I do anything, just in case it like deletes the save file or something stupid. Oh, oh damn, damn damn, it's gonna hurt. Whoa, whoa, okay. All right, we fine, we could, okay. Absolutely love the, the uh, time that we made getting here. It was, uh, excuse me, oh, brutal. Yeah, that was a uh, short work of that distance. It was just like, bam. So that was like a game hour or less that took. So that's great, that means we can start exploring um, more places on the map. So that maybe could be a tomorrow thing. Like we can go into the desert tomorrow and that's where there's a whole other bevy of things to find. Uh, I would very much actually like to get the, uh, oh, excuse me. Okay. I would very much like to get the ability to make the rocket launcher. Like I can make the rocket launcher, but I can't make the ammo until I get into the desert. So that would be uh, definitely something I'd like to accomplish. All right, so yeah, we're home. Uh, let's do some sorting while uh, I guess the base takes care of things. See, let's just, how's our energy doing? Let me see if it's worth flipping on the traps for. We, we, we good? Yeah, we're full. All right, let's uh, just flip on the traps and then uh, we'll just do our sorting at a nice leisurely pace. All right, just go about everything settled here. So yeah, I'm gonna take time to do this. Let's go ahead, I'm really damn curious. So the globe, the headset, the microphone, the antenna, was that? Was that it? Oh, Morse code machine. I think that is everything. All right, so let's take a little cruise of back. I'm gonna head back to the uh, the airstrip. Let's take out the uh, waypoints, get rid of those. And yeah, we just need to go straight here, which it shouldn't take long, especially with our new, our new, our new wheels. We should be there and back in no time at all. Let's just turn off our traps and then yeah, head straight out there. All right, arriving at the airfield here. Let's uh, me drive onto this side, closest to where the plane is. It's getting a little late, so this might be a foolhardy exercise. Can we get across? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm really curious how this is going to work out. I just want to park right here. All right, we're going to save our game. And then we're going to find out what this is all about. So, uh, yeah, do we try our new assault rifle? Actually, we can put a scope in that, can't we? Um, let me uh, switch out here. Oh, hold everything. Yep. You get out of there. So yeah, let's just maybe scope it out, just like a two-time scope. Um, assault rifle, two scope. Awesome. I don't think I have anything else on me. What? What was? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? Um, yes, this. Okay. Oh, okay. You get a zoom in. I like that. Excuse me. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, I mean. Okay, you know what? No. Mm -mm. I'm going first person. I'm sorry. Anyone that doesn't like it, I do. Uh, I, you know, I, I can't apologize. I can't really apologize. But I just, this is how I feel comfortable. Whoa. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. Beheaded the butcher. So yeah, I, I need to find out what's going on here. Where, where's this, uh, where's this whole radio thing happening? Oh, 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 we get stunned. Okay, taken care of pretty quickly. Oh, no, no. No. All right. So is this, uh, is this what I'm doing? Okay, let's look at the journal. Uh, you can escape by fixing the broken communications equipment here. So this? Okay, I have the dot pretty much where it's supposed to be. 4713, 16627. So it's uh, over here somewhere. So maybe it's... Outside of the hangar? Good, I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for. Uh, maybe it's on the plane? Oh, okay. This is something, right? Um, what am I doing? Okay, do I need to build something? Okay, so I had to look it up. So yes, you use your thing to upgrade it. And oh, shit. Amp, 
portable radio, radio, radio equipment, speaker. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess we wouldn't have known any other way. Let, let, let go take a screenshot of that, in fact. There's a lot of items there I don't have. I think you need like certain books to... Okay, let's take a screenshot of this. Amp, radio... I've seen these things. I don't know what they were used for. So I'm going to take a screenshot. Reference for later. Let's just go home. All right, driving back home once again. Yeah, we got um, not a lot of time for in-game hours. So that's uh, not a lot of time, but maybe enough time just to get some things tightened up. I would like to get the um, uh, the stairs uh, fully upgraded. So we're going to need a little bit of supplies. Before we go up here, let's go check all of our machines. Uh, actually, to, to that end, I need the repair kits, which I actually think I do have on me. Uh, repair kits. I got fuel. Yeah, okay, let's go, uh, yeah, let's go check our machines. I need some extra stuff for, like, you know, uh, yeah, branches here, for example, as well as, uh, as well as the uh, stone and ore and all that. All right, I attended to the, all of the machines, so let's go ahead and smelt up what we have. Um, oh, wait, I'm missing. Did I not? Okay, I didn't get those machines. I need more repair kits, though, because I believe that is just, like, leaves and iron and rubber. I think those are things I need. Yeah, we can make a bunch of maintenance kit. It uses up a bunch of leaves, which is good. Cloth and all that stuff, so it's definitely good to make a lot of those. Okay, all the sheets are pumping away. So let's do a quick take all. Here we got, I believe, 10, 11 copper out of all those machines. It's not bad. Could be worse, but it also could be better. So let's get things a little tightened up here. It'd be nice if I could upgrade one of the batteries. Because I think it's getting a little close now. There's a bird there. What's he freaking... Yeah. Okay, cool. Check out the bird later. Okay, we good? We good? Alright, we're, we're fine. Now, how, how am I doing for assault rifle? No, no. How am I doing for assault rifle ammo? Uh, but, 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 oh, yeah, all kinds. I got a few hundred. That is going to be... That's going to spell good news. So there's all the assault rifle ammo. We can lean on that all night. Oh, God, yeah. That's This is going to be awesome. Now, can I upgrade this? You know what? Maybe I should hold off on the upgrading because it's not yellow quality. I should wait. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it'll be a shame, whatever. Uh, actually, maybe the uh, first upgrade isn't that bad. It's only, what, pigeon pigeon feathers? Yeah. Uh, do I have, I have a lot of pigeon feathers? Maybe it's not a big deal. All right, we have a, f yeah, modest amount of pigeon feathers. Let's grab two. And then some uh, bird bones. I think that's all I need for the upgrades. Let's double check. Yeah, there we go. Re Rebellion Assault Rifle. It's going to give us an extra, I think, five damage. Yes, five damage. So that's going to be worth it. Same with the, the German submachine gun. Now, duck feathers. Do I have an abundance of duck feathers? No, I do not. I do not have any duck feathers. So that's fine. That's going to have to stay where it is. But at least we did a minor improvement, at least. All right, yeah, one of the things I'd like to do is upgrade one of these batteries. I just need an electric plate, a pulse, tram sorry, pulse transformer, and five nails. Right, and a pulse transformer. Okay, that should be everything. So yeah, this will give us a lot more storage space. So, ba -ba -bam. there. See that little two little spots down there? That was once the capacity of the old one. So they could fill all of that up. Let's make sure that everything, yeah, everything looks repaired. Nothing sparking. Uh, solar panels off, but whatever. Let's turn this off for now. Get a little bit more electricity. I think all, all the batteries are going to drain into that anyways. Yeah, I think they already did. Yeah, so we need to let that charge. All right, maybe we can get ourselves a couple of extra... Um, couple of extra wind, well, wind turbines. Just need some extra copper. Oh, yeah, oh, lots of copper. And what do we need for that? Oh, another need an engine, motor, whatever. Gotcha. Yeah, so two more will help. I also need my wires and my wire connector. That's something that's actually handy for these, uh, all these turbines. If you go over here and you can install like an ore panel or circuit, whatever you want to call it. There. So the way this works, if we get our wiring tool out. Okay, so let's unwire that. Unwire that. And then wire them into here. Okay. So each one is bringing in... Wait, are you... Uh... Why isn't that generating wind? Huh? Okay, those are generating... Uh -huh. Okay, so the output of this should come over here and go into one of these inputs right here none none yeah right there so why oh, okay there it is weird i think i guess it had to be connected but whatever anyways yes the uh, power comes in 25 25 
uh, outcomes 49 because it takes one to power this and that way it only takes up one slot over on the uh, over on the battery so we can kind of combine them so we'll just need uh, you know, make a couple switches and make it nice and neat all right so here's a two oh, oh, oh there we go two extra turbines uh they're not snapping where they should be snapping um that's gonna annoy me isn't it yeah it is all right there we go as close as i can get that that's fine everything's Everything's fine. So yes, I need to make another uh, ore thingy, uh, ore gate, there we go. So I'll set that up over, I don't know, in the middle maybe. All right, these two new ones are gonna come into here. Bam. And then we get an extra 50 um, units of, oh, hold on, what's going on here? There we go. And then output. And there we go. So we got 49, 49, 49, so there we go. It's all coming in here. And there's this one lone one sitting here. So that's yeah, gonna increase things. Battery's still charging. There, there, yeah, and power coming in from there. So everything is hunky dory. So let's gotta let that ride. Now, is there anything more I can do with the traps? Now, supposedly the uh this is gonna be a problem. Yeah, maybe we should move this. Alright, let's put the springboard right here. That should give the desired effect. Uh, yeah, I forgot to un you know not unwire, unwire? Uh rewire. Wait, input none? Was that not powered? Well, okay, so now we're gonna have two uh, powered um, of these uh, springboards. So hopefully that'll keep us a little safer. Now, do I have enough time to make another compressor? Let's uh, let's check the goods. All right, I think I have everything enough for two more. I'm not sure if I need two, com two more compressors, but it wouldn't hurt. So let's get the uh, first one down here. And yeah, screw it. Let's just have a bunch of compressors. Okay, so let's get the uh, upgrade tool out. Hopefully I have all the goods in. Uh, nails, plates, rebar. All right. All right, let's try that again. So upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. There we go. Upgrade. So that gets that. And this one. Awesome. Okay, that's all done. Now for the wiring. So up, boop, output none. So let's yeah, wire the laser. Well just chain them together because they're like right here. Okay, everything's powered. Awesome. And one last thing, if I can manage it, let's get some extra ballista bolts. Ooh, um, lumber. Um, do, can I get some more lumber? A little bit more. I can get some more wood over here. All right, so how many can we make now? Oh, a whole bunch. Okay, so... I don't want to use up all my... Oh, let's just, just use most of it. All right, let's wire them up, because, yeah, that's going to help us with the, uh, the big baddies as well as the giants until we can get some, uh, some better ordnance. All right, 115 each. Not bad at all. All right, so yeah, still charging. Yeah, we're almost ready to go. We'll flip the switch whenever it's uh, whenever it's time. You know, I just oh, just pretty much forgot just until just now. Um, the stairs. Uh, I want to get the stairs fixed. Can I do that nice and quick? Uh, 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 ow, okay, out, out. Okay, nice and quick. I didn't expect to find you here. Um. Okay, okay, I'll just take care of you so I can stop panicking. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a couple of wood pieces here. This would have just burned and caused a problem anyways. So just fix it up nice and quick. All right, so how about the stairs? Can I, uh... Ooh, piece of iron. Um, is there a piece of iron in here? Uh, no. No. Uh, oh, barrel. I know this is really cutting it close. All right, just a quick, uh, quick tidy up here. Repair. T, T. No, no. Six and then T, 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 T. Are you T? Okay, it's already iron. Okay, I guess I was already upgraded it. Okay, whatever. I'm, uh, I'm done. Let's get out of here. Just want to get to my, uh, to my spot. Pull up my assault rifle and uh, pop some heads. Okay, traps are on. I hear some sparkies. Uh, repair. Yes, repair. I yeah, mean, there, there is an option to turn off uh, generator degradation because it's random. It's just. Random annoyance. But if that's an annoyance to you, it doesn't add into gameplay. It is absolutely uh, optional. Okay, so this will be interesting. Let's go. Definitely going to take out those guys. Um, yeah, the spiky guys, man. The guys that throw the, uh, the hooks. You suck. Go to hell. If you don't mind. There we go. So that rifle's great, but I'm a little concerned about how fast it's going to take go through ammo. So I know I have a, a modest amount. But I know it could go through pretty quick, depending on the, the bulk of the zombies here. Yeah, there we go. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. So I want to let the, uh, the traps do a lot of the work. But the big guys, I really want to make sure I soften those guys up. 
before they get any further. Yeah, see that guy? Don't do that. Don't do that. Get hit by that. There you go. All right, whole heart seems pretty under control. And then now just kind of remembering the existence of giants. Uh, I don't think I've heard any any signs of yet, but it's still pretty early. It's still only a hour zero, so I think it's around, you know, maybe a little after one, I think, when they might appear. So have to keep, uh, keep an ear out. All right, out of arrows. Let's go ahead and try this uh, German submachine gun. Uh, yeah, it's 125 bullets. Still a respectable amount. But we'll definitely have to start uh, making some more of the assault rifle bullets, because I'm done making any of the other ones. Because that's definitely got the best uh, offensive advantage. Oh yeah, this is just destroying them. This is, uh, this is lovely. This is just great. Let's take a little uh, aerial, of, aerial view here. Um, checking for giants. You never know. There's a giant around here somewhere. And an assault rifle with your name on it. And I, at this time, you're going down way faster than my wall does. I swear to God, so you're gonna you're not gonna have much time at all to do any stupid damage. Okay, just keep an ear out. I think the next wave is starting. Because uh, usually when the uh, ballistas go off, there's another batch of heavies. Because, yeah, I think the batch of heavies usually starts... Oh, yeah, they're coming. Okay, a whole bunch of them coming. Okay, so let's get our submachine gun out. Yeah, just definitely get our best foot forward here. Get rid of those little bastards. And, uh, yeah, the assault rifle. This is I keep seeing something moving, so it's oil pumps. But, yeah, definitely want to, uh, make sure I have lots of ammo ready for the giant if there happens to be one. Almost out of submachine gun ammo, but, uh, actually, I am out of submachine gun ammo. But we still have lots of assault rifle ammo. So let's set it to, uh, you know, semi-auto. And try to, try to make sure our counts, sh uh, our shots count. Any, any giants? Maybe there's no giant tonight. Maybe that, that could be a thing. It's gone holding up really well. I, uh, so I didn't have this thing. I'd really like to get a yellow quality one so I can start doing the uh, upgrading without worrying about wasting materials. Because, I mean, just a couple pi of pigeon feathers wasn't a big deal. Yeah, probably one last wave on the way because the, uh, yeah, the blood came out of the, the, the skull there. So I think it's just the last ones left. Just gonna wait for them to come here. But yeah, maybe we don't have a giant tonight. Maybe it's, maybe it's gonna go easy on us. Check and see if I can make any ammo. Uh, assault rifle ammo. Oh, we can make some. 161. Okay, well, we're not gonna do it quite yet. So I might need some iron in the morning. And there's still, uh, yeah, not a whole lot of zombies left. But maybe just enough to be slightly concerned. Alright, getting a little low on ammo. Just wanna make sure there's no giants coming. Then they can use the remaining bullets without we're well, getting wiped out. I think we're okay. I think it's I think this is all it is. One last scan, yeah, I think we're okay. So we can probably use our last of our bullets without much of an issue. Worst case I can run in and make a, a handful uh, in an emergency, but we'll see. I think we could just got stragglers now. I think we're in good shape. I think that's all there is. Yeah, if I can get more of this ammo. Like just a never ending supply. That would be fantastic. But that's gonna take more mining machines. Which means I'm going to need to move them. Because I can't create any more without uh, engaging the new, new, sorry, new limitation that they must be touching the ground. Which, rightfully so, should be a thing. So, uh, yeah, I think we're good. Let's take a look. We have a, a, a point to spend. Um, I'm not even sure where to put it. Damage taken. Uh, memory. Damage to zombies is always a thing. You can go ahead and do damage taken. Because, you know, sometimes survival is a nice thing to have. I think that's it. Okay, let's do a quick loot. How's your inventory doing? Ah, we're fine. Here's a little bulk of the loot. Looks like a couple couple items in here. And I'd actually like to take a second and uh, try to do some combinations from the stuff I looted earlier today, like the uh, all the bone, bone armor or whatever else. So how did this hold up? Oh! Well, I guess it held up just fine. So yeah, it looks like it's solid. No zombies are trapped. That guy was just uh, lingering. Grab all this and uh, take a look at what we got. All right, I think we are all set. So otherwise, yeah, just a couple of crap items. I did get a sparrow earlier that I didn't collect. So all good, all good. So yeah, we had a, we had a good day today. We got our cruiser motorcycle, which is a big step forward. We got the uh, last journal location. So I guess we need to uh, change this, build radio parts, get the multiple rocket launcher ammo book, and eventually upgrade the walls and path to iron. I'm not sure if that's something I'm going to do sometime soon, but this one's going to be the big one. Now for the uh, for the radio parts, like is that um, 
Where did I see that? Okay, it looks like it's all of these things. What do I need? Crafting workbench, radio, radio equipment. What do I need? What book do I need to do that? Okay, so radio equipment, quantum circuit. Okay, so we need something at the oil refinery. That's probably going to be in the... Uh, yeah, that's going to be in the desert. So that's, uh, that's going to be a thing. So yeah, I guess that's probably one of our objectives. So I need to get that book as well as... Let's see, which one was that? Okay, also, yeah, the senior chemist. So that's at a military base. So I need to go to the military base and the oil, the oil refinery. Yeah, definitely the two places I need to go. As for all this, this is stuff... I think this is all about boats and whatnot, so I don't need that right now. Railgun ammo. Ooh. Senior blacksmith. Sniper. Ooh, handmade hey, sniper rifle. Dynamite. That's always fun. At a school. School. Didn't I already go to a school? Huh. Anyway, so, so that's it. Uh, those are the two objectives. I'm going to have the senior chemist and the senior researcher. So I can get the escape equipment as well as uh, rockets so I can handle the giants a lot easier. All right, this is Genesis episode 13 of Night of the Dead. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. And if you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Catch us tomorrow where we go to the desert and do some exploring. And I think I'm really going to enjoy it because uh, we got fancy wheels to take us there.